Hey guys, it's Amic Zero with another video. Today I want to tell you about Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin might actually be the next huge thing on the internet, maybe even changing the world. What they want to do is become the universal currency uh, digitally in the world. So every online transaction, maybe even in the future credit cards, things like that, would be universal with Bitcoins. Uh, Bitcoins are it's such a complicated concept. Bitcoin is an open source project that wants to kind of replace things like PayPal um, with universal dollar amounts because your money is not attached to any country, any uh, bank or anything like that. It is independent of everything. It's The easiest way to kind of think about it is kind of like video game gold. You have this gold, you, cr you can get gold, you can trade gold, um, but in video games they tell you don't trade real world objects with your video game gold like a lot of people sold like World of Warcraft gold for whatever online like we'll trade and what this is is kind of like taking that idea that's normally against the rules in games and making it the entire point so you get your bitcoins and you use it like real money um, you give it a, I mean value is really determined by the people that use it but it gets much more complicated to the point where it actually does have value um, so you can get started with your own bitcoin uh, wallet and the great thing about this is it's 100% open and 100% anonymous at the same time and what I mean what I mean by that is you don't have any type of bank account you don't have any type of user account there's no login there's no password but every transaction is completely open in a sense every transaction has a transaction ID it tells you how much was sent from where to who but not really to who it says from what transaction number to what other transaction number and that is not in any way connected to your name and what's great about the whole bitcoin system is the way that it's secure there cannot be any counterfeiting uh... there can't be any embezzlement there is no way to duplicate coins or double spend money uh... through the amazing amount of security that is in it and i cannot possibly stress the amount of security that is in bitcoins literally everyone who joins bitcoin adds another layer of security to each Bitcoin in the world. So I can't really explain it. I'm going to leave tons of information in the description to read up on if you want to get really technical about it. I'm going to try and keep this dumbed down though. So let me open up my Bitcoin wallet to make this a little easier. So this is my wallet. As soon as I open up on my computer, I didn't have to log into anything. It started my wallet at zero uh, Bitcoins and I work my way up from there. I can't go onto another computer and open up my Bitcoin wallet. It, there's no account. It would start a new wallet. However, if I take all the files from my Bitcoin um, folder and stick it onto something like a flash drive, I could open it from that folder on any computer and it would be my same um, account, quote unquote. It's a very difficult concept. You just We're going to dumb it down. Uh, all the information is in the description to tell you how it really works. So right now, this is my Bitcoin address. If you were to send me Bitcoins, I would tell you send it here. As soon as you send me a Bitcoin, my transaction number changes. However, you can still send coins to this and it will still end up with me. But we can keep anonymous by changing our address every single time. And I can just create a new one anytime I want. Um, so that's the anonymous part of that. Now you're wondering, well, how do I make money? Well, here's where it gets even more complicated. Uh, but I'm going to keep it dumbed down again. So are these things called blocks, and they are encrypted hundreds of thousands of times with um, hash codes. And every, it, it, it's hard to explain, hash codes are piled onto this thing hundreds of thousands of times every time something is done on the network. So you run a, a free program on your computer that starts to decrypt hashes, and when it gets all the way down and destroys the block, 50 coins are inside. Now, a long time ago, when this first started and there weren't that many people in the network, the hashes were pretty simple to crack. One computer using their processor could bust the block. Later on, people had to switch to graphics cards uh, because graphics cards are much more po uh, powerful and could crack them even better. Now that there's so many people, what people are doing is called pooling. And basically, I join a network full of lots of people, and we all work together to break the same block, and then we share the profits. So that's basically how it has to be done now. So I'm going to show you how that's done so that we can get you started. So I open up my GUI miner, and you join a pool. I'm on a server called Slush's Pool, and basically this is a collaboration of people, and this is all on a P2P network, uh, kind of the same way Torrents work. So we all start busting the same block together. So we, I signed up here. Uh, I did need an account to do this. Obviously, they need to track me somehow uh, to give me my 
certain amount of money worth, I set up my graphics card and I press start mining. And basically now my graphics card is going to start breaking hashes until all of us together eventually bust up this block and we'll split the profit. So that's how Bitcoins are created to begin with. That's what gives them their value is basically we're creating more money in the system, but it takes much longer each time to create more until eventually it's going to take a very, very, very long time to create more. And then in my wallet, I get to spend my profits. On a, there's actually a lot of websites that offer hosting, um, VPNs. There is a, like an eBay-esque type website for Bitcoins. All the description, uh, the description has all the information you need. So definitely give it a shot. Uh, I know I didn't cover enough. It's just it would take so long to show you everything about Bitcoin. So I really, really encourage you to ask questions in the comments so that I can answer them all individually and I don't bore you with too much information. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, definitely download Bitcoin. Uh, definitely ask questions. All right, see you guys.